everyone, it's me, Benjamin Crudwig here, and I am actually going to document this process because I've been really bad at documenting all of my other processes of all the pieces that I've been making. So I thought I'd stop in and tell you what I am working on today for um, Benjamin Collin, which is my fashion label. And if you look behind me there, um, <clears throat> I'm working on a gown that is orange and gray, and it's actually made out of all upcycled fabric and materials. So I'm working with this um, orange material, and it comes from a bunch of different, <laughs> it's called recycled sari silk. So these are all offcuts from old saris or just, you know, from the manufacturing process, they, they're the offcuts from that. And um, I got them from Darn Good Yarn, who I am collaborating with on this project. And um, they came as fat quarters, and I've cut them into three inch strips. So what I'm currently doing now, um, if you look at the top, the bodice here, um, I have these strips here that I'm weaving um, for the bodice. I'm gonna change up the colors on this one, um, I, I feel like I wanna use one fabric only instead of, I think there's about four different ones in there. Um, and I'm also creating these small flowers here using the same strips. So what I am doing, I'm gonna see if I can get in here. Um, I'm using a rolled hem, like a rolling hem foot, and I'm rolling all of the edges of the strips because otherwise it'll fray. And I really want this to be, you know, a structurally sound gown. Um, there are some pieces of this fabric that are what I would consider worn. So I won't be using those areas. Um, just, you know, I want to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart at the first wearing. So um, I'm gonna keep working ahead. Um, I'm probably gonna change up the bodice a little bit. I do like the flowers, but I'm gonna try another technique um, to give it a little bit more texture. And other than that, I will see you on the flip side. All right, so at this stage of the process, um, I kind of was figuring out what flowers I wanted on the gown or on the, the skirt portion of this dress. And I realized, um, you know, this is the marigold dress. I want something that has a lot of texture and a lot of pop. I started with something that kind of looks like this. You can see it looks a little bit more like a rose and that's really not what I'm looking for. So I made the same thing, but then I, I squashed it, and that just looks even more like a rose, just a flatter, flat rose. So I got this crazy idea that after I do the hem stitching on each side of the strip, that I would then fold that strip in half and use my ruffling foot to create texture. So um, you can see I have my ruffling foot set up, so it's every stitch. And then, uh, geez, I can't really tell the, the setting that I have over here. And then my stitch length is about a one to a two. Um, what that is giving me is a really intense ruffle. So you can see here that it really, really ruffles it up. Then what I'm doing is I'm kind of twisting it around itself. Let's see if I can find the right one. Um, and it creates a far more ruffled look. So it's not exactly like a marigold, but frankly, like it's close enough that it's going to read the way that I want it to read in the finished piece.
Alrighty, so I finished all of the marigolds and I have two little boxes of marigolds. So I don't know how many that is. I haven't really counted them yet. However, that's for a later date. Um, so I also just finished cutting out the circle skirt. Um, you can see my messy studio. So that's that gray fabric that I got at Who Gives a Scrap in Fort Collins, Colorado. And it was just something that I found on a bolt. Not sure, it kind of looks like a suiting material, but it's definitely um, synthetic of some sort. And I thought it would look really good against this bright orange um, of the marigolds. So I'm going to do a rolled hem on the bottom of the circle skirt, sew up the back, um, and then I might make it so it could be two piece. Um, so you have the bodice and the skirt separate, but I haven't quite made that decision yet. So what I'm gonna do is finish the waistband like I would if um, it was just gonna be a skirt. And then if I'm gonna end up doing the bodice and skirt together, then I'll also them together then. So um, I'm gonna sew up the skirt and I'm gonna do some hand piecing while it's flat. So, um, yep, see you next time. Alrighty, so I have now finished the skirt. I have a couple of more flowers that I need to place um, on the circle skirt. But for the most part, that is done. And then what I've done up here is I've draped the other three inch strips that I cut out um, to create this, basically the, the shell of the bodice or just the bodice. Um, so I need to hand tack all these in place and then do some top stitching. Then what I'm going to do up here is to create little um, channels here and here and I'm going to use the tie that tied all the fabric strips together um, in the first place, all the fat quarters together in the first place. So I'm using every last bit that I can of that little kit, the fat quarter kit from Darn Good Yarn. So I'm really excited to finish this up. I've already gotten the zipper in to the skirt and everything is hemmed. I just need to do some cleanup down there, add a couple of more flowers, and then I'm gonna do some beading with some beads that I picked up from um, my mother's stash. So uh, I will keep working and see you on the next clip. Hey everybody, at this point in the process, I have draped the bodice and finished the skirt as far as the construction of it goes. I still have some embellishment that I'm going to do to it. I'm gonna do some beading. Um, and I've already started seaming up the bodice. So you can see a couple of the areas in which I've started doing some hand sewing to keep everything in place. And then I did make a decision. I have a couple of pieces left of this silk and what I'm gonna do is turn them into some slight ruffles on the shoulders. Um, I think it just adds an overall more feminine fit. So I'm going to work on that today. And then if I have time, I'm going to work on the beading and hopefully it'll all come together.